Okay, we're back. I have a toothpick. Yes, she does. So, we just finished up our date. I don't think it counts because... Devil... With Anna. So, I guess we continue and go with Adine. We can't actually go for her from what I gather. Okay, so we're going to go meet with Adine then. Yep. Oh, an upload that looks so interesting in my recommended. Here we are again. Furious knocking. Just a minute. I hope you didn't forget anything. I didn't. Hope I didn't forget anything. You I said something about going to the beach. Yep. You know, I'm glad they decided not to send you away after all. Me too. Hell, <laughs> oh, I guess... I guess who got entry confirmation for the stunt flying competition? Is it me? <laughs> Don't be silly, horny. <laughs> I got it right here in black and white. We are happy to confirm your entry into the annual stunt flying competition. Please have your competitor uh, number ready to show up at the organi or or organizer's booth at the summer festival by organizer. Oh, she she's what? Stu she's stupid. Organizer. She's stupid. Well, who cares about the rest? I'm in. That's great. Yeah, but. Hang on, what what was this game originally made in? It might be a bad translation. What? It might be Japanese, the game. No, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, but the festival's pretty soon. I have to make the most of the time until then to get my skills up to par. I thought you already had years of experience. Yeah, but now I have to practice the best routine I can possibly come up with. Not to mention making sure I can execute it flawlessly when the time comes. Practicing in general is very different than practicing for an event like this one. I see. <laughs> Are you ready to see some stunt flying? Sure. Let's go then. Whee! Barrel roll! Barrel roll! <clears throat> so, this is where you usually practice? I practice just about every anywhere. <laughs> My voice. But today's a nice day for a beach visit. Water and sand are also good surfaces to practice complicated maneuvers on, in case you can't make the landing. <sighs> not We're sponsored. not sponsored. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, don't let me hold you up. Oh, I can't just start practicing right now. I'm still giddy from ex with excitement from getting that letter earlier. Besides, I wanted to hang out with you for a while. While we're here as well. Sounds good to me. Do you visit the beach often? Not really. Except for practice, that is. It does make for a nice backdrop while I fly, though. I've just noticed something. What? Look how white the cliffs are. What? Look how white they are. In colour. Yeah. They're very much like Dover. Hmm. You know, the white cliffs of Dover. Guess so. Do you ever go to the beach? No, it's not something that was possible for me the last couple of years, but it certainly used to be something other people would do. I see. Some to yourself can be nice sometimes, but I'm not really a fan of going swimming. <clears throat> yes. So much more you can do at the beach, though. Like what? You already mentioned something. Do you ever get a tan? What's that? I guess that's a no, then. To be fair, you are completely covered in scales, so I imagine you wouldn't be affected. Tan is a reaction of the skin when it's exposed to sunlight. If you can stay in the sun for a while, our skin can get darker. How strange. If we're exposed for too long, we can even get what is called a sunburn. And what's that? Well, the skin can take on a reddish tint. It can also be painful and cause dizziness. 
So, you have to be careful not to stay in the sun for too long? Pretty much. Though that isn't necessarily true for all of us, depending on the skin tone, people can be more or less affected by the radiation. I see. That sounds kind of complicated. Does that mean we shouldn't stay here for too long? I never get sunburn. <sighs> never. Well, I guess I haven't gone out anywhere particularly sunny in a while to really say so. You're so adverse to the sun, you vampire. <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't think I've ever got sunburn. At oh, all. me neither. And I, I, I definitely have a bad habit of refusing sun cream, so... Yeah, I guess... Uh, that doesn't really help with the... Um, I have a V's, really, I mm. guess. <clears throat> Which one? Middle. Okay. I see. Just let me know if you need to do anything. Sure, will do. Said you don't like swimming all that much. Where is that? <laughs> well, as you can imagine, I prefer the air to the sea, even though we flyers have quite a relationship with the water. <clears throat> what kind of relationship are we talking about? You don't want to know. We use it to hunt. I see. So you go fishing, but can't swim all that well. Pretty much. You can do enough to safely hunt and paddle on the surface. But that's about it. If we actually want to go swimming, it's recommended we wear a laugh vest. Is it that bad? Right. Our wings are made Sorry for... Sorry for that. Our wings are made for fly, not for swimming. The movement, is... the movement and musculature are rather different. With some training, we can learn to swim better, but it still won't really be effective. I see. And besides, who would choose to learn to swim if we already have the air to ourselves? Flying is just your thing, I guess. Pretty much. Uh, you made it sound as if beaches are a pretty important thing for humans. I wouldn't say important. Rather, it's a unique way for people to spend time. It was often done as a leisure activity or a way to spend holiday vacations. That sounds pretty important to me. What else do you do at the beach? Uh, let me think. I got an idea and started looking for... Oh, we're baking a sandcastle. Yay! Oh, no, no, wait. No, it's a skimming. I think we're skimming. A what? You know, when you oh, skimming get stones. a pebble and you skim mm. over the surface. I got an idea and started looking for something in the sand on the ground. With a bit of digging, I found a flat, smooth stone and showed it to her. Do you have any idea what I'm going to do with this? Not really. Well, I'm going to shove it up my butt. Yeah. It's my kink. Nope. Let me show you something. I went to the edge <laughs> of the water, followed closely by a dean. Now, watch this. I extend my arm with, my, with the best technique I can muster before I threw the stone towards the water. Spinning in the air, the stone bounced on the water's surface a few times before it sunk into the sea. Under the sea. What was that? Stone skipping. Never heard of it? No, how'd you do that? I can show you. I looked around for another suitable stone and found one near the edge of the water. Let's start with a stone. I don't know who wants one that has a big surface area, but is as flat as possible. Got it. This one is also really smooth, which helps too. Okay, so we need smooth, flat stones. Now, the technique is also pretty important. Uh, I'm not sure how well this will translate to your anatomy, but I'll just show you how I do it, and then we can figure out what you can do. Okay. Hold the stone like this, extend your arm, and curl it like this. Then you have to throw in such a way that it stays relatively stable in the air, but spins as fast as you can make it. And I do it like this. I threw the stone, once again showing her how it subsequently bounced a few times over the water's surface before it sunk into the sea. Under the sea! Under the sea! My god, if my sister were here, she'd be freaking out. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can do that. Not sponsored. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe we can figure something out. Let's look for a stone first. Okay. We both started looking for another appropriate stone. 
I saw Dean scratching around the sand with one of her feet. She crouched down to pick something up before she returned to me. Hey, what about this one? That should work. See, you already got that part down. I guess so. Okay, now for the technique. She was holding the stone in the claws at the edge of her wing. I tried to guide her by pulling the wind back like I would an arm, but it became clear to me that it lacked a lot of manoeuvrability an arm would have. Uh, for the throw, you want to move your wing forward as fast as you can, and at the very end of the extension, let go of the stone. I'll try. I can see him moving her wing awkwardly. She pushed it forward before releasing the stone, which sunk without bouncing a single time. Oh, that didn't work. Yep, wasn't really enough spin on it. Let me try again. All right. I waited a few steps into the water to retrieve the stone she'd thrown only moments ago. Here you go. I'll try something different this time. Feel free. Instead of using her wing, she took the stone into the dexterous claws on one of her feet as she continued to stand on the other leg. That must look funny. <laughs> Effortlessly, she pulled her leg back before rapidly moving it forward and releasing the stone. It flew in a bit of an upward arc before it bounced off the water's surface once and subsequently sunk into the ocean's waters. Oh, under the sea. Nice. Not bad, huh? No idea you could do that with your leg. Actually, our legs are what we mainly use to grab things. It only gets complicated if I'm supposed to be moving at the same time, like when I'm waiting at the caf in the cafe. Interesting. I suppose to someone who's hunting while flying, that's pretty much a requirement. It is. Actually, I, if I'm at home and eating chips or something, <laughs> I usually use my feet as well. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh. I see what else I can use with my feet. He's my feet for? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Got the right idea right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wish I could do that with my feet. Well, if 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 we were like other primates, we could. Yeah, true. That'd be cool. <laughs> Dexterity. <laughs> Probably isn't even half as funny as you're picturing it. That was a neat trick, though. So, what else can you do at the beach? I don't know. Build sandcastles? I haven't done that in like two decades. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> I'm gonna like left out bit. let out a fucking giant belch at some point. <laughs> oh. I tried to imagine what a dean building a sandcastle would look like. Based on what I knew now, she probably wouldn't be using her wings. I use my feet for everything. Would you believe me if I told you we used to have contests for building sandcastles back home? Really? Yeah. People would build huge, detailed sculptures that would be taller than both of us. Just with sand. Don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. Kind of like your acting. <laughs> oh, oh, it's on, bitch. Yeah. It's on, bitch. I mean oh, that wow, about that his sounds acting, hard, though. I didn't mean that about your acting, but, you know. I was I was saying it as, like, directly to the guy who played oh, Anakin, yeah, not yeah. to you. Hayden Christensen? Hayden? I don't know. Oh, we're looking it up. We're looking it up, guys. Oh, there was a small one. Burpy burp. Do, 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 do. The Wikipedia. <laughs> God damn it. Hayden Christensen, I was right. Aha, Neat. I know my actors. Nicola is gone. Bravo. Not sponsored. That sounds hard, though. Do you know what else is? Zip! <laughs> oh, that face. That says everything. That's the face of pure defeat, man. You could try it if you like, I guess. I guess. Mm. I'm not sure I have the patience for that. To me, it seems a bit of a shame to build big elaborate sculptures out of something like sand. It clearly won't last. I mean, if you're going to spend so much time on it, why not create something that will stay? I 
Well, I could get into a big philosoph- philosophical, philosophical philosophical point about that, but uh, since there's no option for it, I won't. Unless you wanna, of course. I get the idea because I like keeping things, and if I make something, well, I yeah, it to disappear. Th- there's that, but then there's also the point of all all nice things are fleeting. Yeah. Like if Unless if it's there a wasn't shit sandcastle. <laughs> like if if yeah. something stays there forever, you're gonna get bored of it eventually. Hmm. Like it's my James um, Bond shelf. Like that's why people like yeah. flowers so much because they're not there all the time. So when fuck flowers. Well, yeah, but it's just an example, you know. Uh-huh. And I guess like another is blossoms. They're only there for spring. Or autumnal leaves. Only there for autumn. Hmm. Autumn's great. I love autumn. Autumn's fine. I prefer over spring and summer, but Hmm. that's largely because of temperature. I I like spring. Spring's okay. Spring's okay. My real beef is with summer. I I hate summer. I prefer the more mild seasons. I know Britain isn't even that hot. If you went over to, like, America, even when it's not summer... You go to LA, dude. If I went over to America, to I Utah. would I would want to kill myself from how hot it is. Would be I. I can't stand the heat. I just can't. I I like being cold. As cold as ice. I mean, my we family will literally sacrifice. come into my room, and say, "God, it's like a refrigerator in here." Because I keep it so cold. You know, you want a roommate, right? But then they'd be frozen half to death. <laughs> well, that's implying they're in the same room, but... Let, let's not get no, into that genuinely... shit. Let's just continue, man. Okay. Uh, which one? I don't know. Flip a coin? <laughs> I was going to gonna have some of our non-sponsored drink. Yeah. Uh, heads, top, tails, bottom. <laughs> Heads. Top it is. I agree. All that effort only to be swept away by the tide or worn down by the weather seems wasteful. I kind of. It's kind of sad if you think about it. I guess we won't be able to build in any sandcastles then. I'm in the mood for a snack. Should I get something for you as well? Yes, please. Well, we haven't had anything, so might as well. Yeah. All, All right. right. Oh, shit. I thought that was me. I thought that was going to be me. There's no maroon horny here. <laughs> Sorry. Can you... You can watch me if you like. Maybe oh, we're eating raw again, again are we? Oh, God. You want to teach me how to fish? Sure, since you taught me the... What was it called again? Stone skipping. Right, since you taught me the stone skipping, I can show you how to fish. Well, I'm sure humans do it quite differently to you. <whistles> well, <laughs> there's that, but there's also, like, spear fishing. I've gone fishing, it's boring. It is it's fucking boring. boring as shit. Yeah. We actually have two very different ways of doing it. One is hunting, well, they one is angling. angling too. Personally, I prefer hunting, though. I can see why. Let me demonstrate. She took a few steps back and started running towards the edge of the sea. Rapidly flapping her wings, she jumped into the air at the last second, taking off and rap flying around the area. I could see her staring at the sea intently, circling a few times before descending towards the water's surface, claws extended. When she got close enough, her claws suddenly sunk into the water and she reappeared with a fish in, her gra- in their grasp. Afterwards, she returned and landed near me. <laughs> that looks look like, so weird. She looks so dorky. Did you see that? Yeah, but I think my distinct lack of wings would probably prevent me from doing the same thing. Well, you don't have to do exactly the same thing. In the end, I'm just grabbing them right out of the air, out of the sea. You do that. <laughs> They're flying fish. <laughs> They're flying fish. You I'm not so sure fishing. about that. But it's a lot easier with your claws. Fish can be pretty slippery. I guess you have a point. Well, there's still the other method. Angling. 
Yep, England. See my tail? She showed me her tail. Oh, and more than that, too. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh, God. At its end, there was a fork in it with its distinct shape, size, and color. It reminded me a lot of a banana. A banana. I shall now eat her tail. Banana. What about it? This is the bite. She sat down near the edge of the water, letting her tail hang down into it. It's going to take a while sometimes, uh, but there are techniques which can speed up the process. The right amount of movement attracts different kinds of fish, that way we can even choose what we're going to get. And that works? Yeah, not all the time, but often enough. Interesting. There are even groups that exchange tips for uh, and such for angling this way. Suddenly, I saw her whip her tail upwards, which caused a fish to be launched towards the beach, where it landed on the ground with an audible thud. No, I actually just it slapped you right in the face, not you over, bang! There you go! That didn't take too long. It can be very hit and miss. I just got lucky this time. It's not even the kind of fish I really wanted. Yes, that's why you prefer hunting. Yep, and you also don't... Get the nibbling scars on your tail after the If it's just biting. a nibble, that's not going to leave a fucking scar, is it? Do fish even have teeth? Some do, but they'd be very, 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 very small. You, do, you just stick your finger. Oh, no, no, no. Fishy kisses on your finger. I see. Though, I suppose angling is going to be hard for you without a forked tail like, I, like we have. Actually, we have fishing rods for that where I come from. What's that? Uh, the principle is very similar. Basically, it's a long stick <laughs> that we hold over the water. A line connected to it has a bait and hook at the end to catch a fish. When the fish bites the hook, we can reel in the line to get the fish to us. So, you're using a tool to do a very similar thing? Basically, yes. Sometimes we also fish using nets. Oh, some of us do that as well. Not my kind, but... Usually it's those who either work for a fishing company or sell seafood on the market. I imagine someone like you doesn't have to buy their fish off the market, though. True, but sometimes it's easier just to get them there and get what I want to, instead of coming all the way here. I see. Speaking of which, let me get a few more for later. Feel free. Once more, Adine took to the sky to hunt for fish. What well, was interesting to watch for a bit, she kept hunting for a while, and I started passing the time by collecting some seashells. Phew! <laughs> that should last me for a while. Oh, what are those, seashells? I was bored! <laughs> They're for you. <laughs> for me? What for? Well, you could decorate your apartment with them or something. I see. I hate seashells. Uh, maybe I should ask you to clarify this, but... Does this have any particular significance for humans? Not really, it's just a gift. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Horny. <laughs> but Honey. really, an expression of my love and adoration. Try a la 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 kiss the girl. <laughs> All that hunting was a good warm-up. I, I feel I'm ready to start with the practice now. Have Go ahead. Eaten? Now watch from here. Actually, now... Then I'll be a part of the an official competition. Or do we get to choose? I need a fancy stage name. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your evil laugh? No, that's not quite it. Aw, I want to hear that eventually, dude. Do you have something in mind? Not really. Have you got any ideas? <laughs> Neo win. What? Custom name? Custom name. Custom Custom name. Well, if there's a custom name, they can't have, like, programmed in reactions, can they? No, but it's funny. Yeah. It's horny. <laughs> Here comes Buttfuck. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I wonder if they'd actually allow that. No, wait, 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 let me look up horse racing names. Oh, you're gonna, okay. We doing this, boy. We doing this. So, G W E. Spot. Capital. It's not exactly very punny. N either. 
We'll go Capital. I still like Hoof Hearted. Well, fuck you. You don't like my dumb Cupid stunt. <laughs> <laughs> right. There, we shorts. picked a name. Aww. After Georgie spent fucking ages being an ADD but twat. But who fucked is great. Well, we couldn't fit it in. Uh, I'm just gonna have a black. I have to have a black screen saying, and then we deliberated stupid names for like half an hour in editing. We'll be fucked. Okay, there. Are you sure? We have a name. G spot. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Fuck you, dude. That sounds <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Do you mind if I go with that? Not at all. <laughs> they don't know what that is. <laughs> G spot it is then. The only one who'll be laughing at he. Ha <laughs> <laughs> the joke's on them. We're so Alright, sure. if you're ready to see some aerobatics. I certainly hope my so. G, no, no, my G spot. I'll start off with a few easy moves. The stage is yours. G spot. <laughs> Thanks. Effortlessly, she took to the skies, <laughs> circling around the area a few times before she started to do a few manoeuvres. We. A roll, followed by a loop, after which she did another roll. Seemed to be less of a practice routine and more of a warm up to me. And gradually, her manoeuvres got more complicated. I saw circles that got smaller and smaller, a brief nose dive, and multiple loops and rolls after one another. And she landed and returned to me. What do you think? That was great. You haven't even seen the best part yet. What would that be? My very own ID <laughs> ad special or whatever, G-Spot special. It's a routine I came up with that I've been practicing for a while. It's pretty difficult, so I'll probably spend the rest of my time until the competition perfecting it as much as possible. What does it look like? Starts off with a circle near the ground. Then, as I ascend, the circles get smaller and smaller. Once I reach the highest point, I go into a nosedive through the middle of the circles. At the show, I'll actually use a smoke trail when doing the circles so everyone can see me actually going through the circles I made. That sounds pretty cool. It's not all of it. While nosediving, I'll do a few rolls. And just before I hit the ground, I'll pull up again. Lastly, I'll end with a few loops... And go to the next maneuver. It all ends up making a neat shape in the sky with the smoke trails. Sounds like you've got it all figured out already. Uh, yeah, now I only have to perfect my execution of it. Don't let me hold you up. Alright, here we go. With determination in her eyes, she took to the skies once more. When she reached a certain height, she slowly descended again until she was close to the water's surface. Then she started making her circles, slowly ascending as the circles gradually got smaller and smaller. Once her circles became as small as possible, she suddenly turned herself around and went into a nosedive. The speed quickly increased while she moved towards the water. Then she did a roll, and another, followed by a third. Dangerously close to the water's surface, she suddenly pulled up. But as she did so, one of her feet went below the surface, while it apparently caught onto something, causing her to spin out of control. I saw her feeble attempt to regain control as she barely managed to steady herself enough to get back to the beach. She made a rough landing, rolling on the ground a few times after colliding with the sand. Aline, are you alright? Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Pretty impressive until the landing. Oh, my wing hurts. Let me take a look. Can you move it? A bit, but it really starts to hurt if I go further than this. It doesn't seem to be broken. Yeah, I guess it's just a sprain. It happens all the time. Really? Well, not all the time, but it happens. What about the competition? The injury's going to put a serious damper on my practice schedule, but I'm not giving up anytime soon. I guess practice is over for today, at the very least. Yeah, let's head back. Sad dragon. There's something we can do. You don't have to move, baby. Let me do all of that. <laughs> oh, I should have some bandages in the cabinet over there. <laughs> I'll get them for you. What now? Will you do me the honors? Of course. Where should I start? I think it's a joint right here. You sure can't start at the 
cheese spot. <laughs> yep, definitely. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, let me try to get this right. Just stand there, purely defeated. Yeah, that should do it. How does it feel? Much better. Maybe with this I can start practicing again in a day or two. Just be safe. Of course. Well, thanks for the help with the bandage, and sorry about cutting practice short today. I guess you didn't get to see a proper, any proper aerobatics after all. It's no big deal. Your health is more important. Thanks for coming at any rate. You're welcome. I guess I'll leave you to recuperate now. Maybe I'll see you next time. Sure thing. Bye. <laughs>